Hey guys, welcome to another Make It Wednesday. So this is the series where I pretty much decide what you are gonna cook for dinner tonight, which I think is really fun. <laughs> now, the whole reason behind the series is that I know that like midweek, even I get stuck for things to cook. So this is my problem solving solution for you. But let's get to the point. What are we all having for dinner tonight? All right, we are gonna be having da da da, Vietnamese curry chicken tray bake plus like a really simple uh, fried rice that I'm gonna do while the chicken is baking. So first up, I'm gonna get the rice going because what I normally do when I walk in the door, if I know I'm having dinner that includes rice, I do that first. So I take my rice. Okay, so rice is on. Uh, while that's happening, we're gonna start our chicken tray bake. So I've got my pan heating up here. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil. Basically, I wanna get some really lovely golden color on our chicken. So just a little bit of salt here and into the oil. So I'm using drumsticks here. I really love using a drumstick for like a tray bake because it means that I don't have to do any sort of chicken chopping, getting chopping boards dirty, that kind of thing. I'm always about not just the food, but also what makes it quick to clean up or quick to prepare basically. So while the chicken's doing its thing, I wanna get a few more aromatics going here. So I've got some ginger and some onion as well, and then some garlic. So quick peel of the ginger. Now, you guys know who have been watching this series for a while now that I'm going to be joining you while the video is playing. So joining you live. So please do tell me where you're watching from. What are you doing? I love hearing about what you guys are doing. So of course, it's not all about me. <laughs> I'm the least interesting person here. You guys tell me what you're up to, please. I would love to know. And also just like, you know, to say hello. So please do say hello. Now, I've got a red onion here as well. And we've had lots of people joining regularly, which is great. And also lots of people coming back to post photos of what they cooked the week before, which is really fun. Love seeing you guys enjoy these videos. Let's have a quick look at what our chicken pieces are doing here. That looks pretty good. We're just kind of starting the flavor process, you know what I mean? Getting a little bit of that golden color so that we can finish it off in the oven, which means it's kind of hands off, you know what I mean? Okay, let's go in with some ginger some garlic. Any time that I can sort of like grate stuff straight into the pan is such a bonus because obviously less chopping again. All right, now I'm gonna get my onion. I just want some nice little wedges here. I really like the color of purple onion. I think it, you know, makes me kind of happy. Plus you've got the brown chicken, you've got the red purple onion. It's lovely. That goes in. Now just give everything a bit of a stir here, toss around. Just get that garlic and the ginger starting to heat through and make friends with that chicken. All right, so to make our curry flavor, I've got some curry powder here as well. I'm just gonna dust that over the top. It's already smelling good, love that. Okay, so I like to include a little bit of veg here as well. Like always with my sort of weeknight cooking, I'm trying to include as many colors as possible. That's like my theory. The more colors, the kind of more virtuous, I guess, the dinner. So I'm gonna pop in some carrots here. You could also do like sweet potato or even some capsicum if you like. It's already looking so lovely. Now one final aromatic here. I'm gonna go on with some lemongrass. Look, if you don't have any in your fridge or freezer, because lemongrass does freeze really well, then you can leave it out. But here's a nice addition. Just bruise it, take away that really firm stem from the outside. Just finely slice. Okay, so now for the liquids. I just wanna grab some chicken stock. And basically we're kind of making a, a light curry sauce in our tray bake situation. Coconut milk, fish sauce, and some sugar. Give that a mix. And just pour this over the top. Make sure you nestle those pieces of carrot right in there. All right, so now this is ready for the oven. 
So while your chicken is in the oven, you have plenty of time to make a really quick Vietnamese fried rice. Now this is totally optional guys, because you could just do like a simple baguette or something like that with your curry tray bake. But seeing as we have the time, I'm gonna make the fried rice. So um, I've got my rice here. Ooh, that looks good. Now, normally you would try to use like a day old rice or rice that's been cooled down. And usually I do have rice left over in my fridge, so I would often use that, but it's fine to use a freshly cooked rice if that's all you've got. So there are a few more bits and pieces I wanna get ready here for my fried rice. I've got some Chinese sausage. Now these are things that I typically have in my pantry or in my fridge. So you adjust your uh, you know, preferences accordingly to what you have. I do like to have these lovely little pops of pork here. You know, I'm not opposed to bacon in fried rice either. You know, I think just about anything with bacon is pretty good. <laughs> I do love this Chinese sausage though. You guys would have seen me use this a lot in my videos. It's kind of sweet. It's like a little sweet and porky. So it's quite good. I might do a bit more of that. Now don't forget guys, I'm here watching with you. So let me know your questions or just say hello. <laughs> I would love that. Okay, who's planning on making this tonight? I would love to know that also. Okay, onion. My kids love fried rice. I'm always into making a fried rice for dinner because I at least know they'll eat one portion of the plate, right? <laughs> and actually that's the good thing about this particular curry is that it's very family friendly. So because we've used a curry powder um, and you could use a very mild curry powder if you like, uh, the actual resulting flavor is not too spicy and it's quite sort of creamy and comforting, I guess, with the coconut milk. It's a really good option. That means you don't have to make multiple things for multiple kids or family members. Okay, I'll just cut that into smaller pieces. I don't mind a bit of a rough chop on my onion. I kind of like the onion to get like a bit of caramelization and a bit of color and a bit of sweetness. So quite like that. Um, let's see, I've got some peas just because I had frozen peas in the freezer. So we're gonna use that. Let's get the pan on. Some oil, Chinese sausage. Now the thing I do love about starting off a fried rice with some cured pork, whether, whether that's your Chinese sausage or your bacon, is you kind of get this like yummy porky fat business that starts off the fried rice in a very good way. <laughs> it kind of permeates the whole thing as the rice stir fries in there. All right, that's looking good. Just a light sizzle there and my onions go in. Teary eyes. <laughs> Sometimes the onion gets you, sometimes it doesn't. It's so random, oh my goodness. Ugh. I typically don't get a lot of onion business because of the glasses, but wow, it's really got me today. So don't forget guys, you can grab this recipe now in the morning and then do your shopping during the day and then come back and replay the video so you can kind of like cook with me if you want to. That would be nice. <laughs> But otherwise you can get the uh, you know recipe on my website whenever you want. That's looking pretty good. I'm gonna add some garlic. Now we can go in with the rice. So just gonna kind of paddle some of it out. And that's pretty good actually. The texture of that rice is really good. It's not too sticky. Uh, you always run into trouble if your rice is overcooked before you start stir frying it. So this is looking pretty good to me. Now really simple seasonings here. I'm gonna go with some fish sauce and some white pepper. Now you could add some eggs in here as well. I'm just gonna keep it really simple. I mean, sometimes you know that thing where you run out of eggs, don't have them at home, and then you're like, oh, I can't make my fried rice or my scrambled eggs or my thing. You know, you can do it without the eggs if you would like. I'm gonna throw in my peas though. That is looking really good. Fried rice always makes me happy. Okay, always like to check if my seasoning is on point. Mmm, that's good, very good. Let's bring it all together. Let's see if my chicken's ready. It certainly smells good. I'm very excited about it. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, steamy. <laughs> Whoever has glasses at home understands this problem. <laughs> all right, oh yeah, look at that. Ooh, it's like all bubbly and yum and golden. Oh, yum. All right, things are looking good. My chicken, I mean, that is one golden dish of deliciousness right there. I love the oven baking situation. You kind of get a bit more of that like color and flavor on there. Okay, dishing it up. This is how I would do it. Nice big plate of rice on the table. 
this how you would do it, Dax? <laughs> You don't know about the pink plate. Well, I was going with a bit of a pink vibe today. My pink casserole dish. Yeah, thanks. Okay, rice. Yum. Already. Our chicken curry tray bake. Maybe just with a little bit more, like, a bit of coriander zhuzhing on top. Alrighty, there you go. 40 minutes start to finish. You've got chicken curry tray bake, lovely, mild, coconutty. You've got your Vietnamese style fried rice. Oh my goodness, I am getting in here. Oh, as I said, fried rice just makes me happy. All right, yum. And let's get in here and get some chicken. I love the color of that sauce, it's so good. Ah, oh, there you go. I feel like saying, ta-da. <laughs> I love this kind of dinner, guys. It just looks good, makes you feel good. Oh, I nearly did the chicken dance, Dex. Oh, nice. <laughs> you missed, missed it. it. Missed the <laughs> okay, you ready? All right. Ah, oh, look at that chicken. So good. Sauce. Some rice. Yum, yum, yum. I love that. Mm, it's so good. I love when you can make something that, you know, really tasty but interesting, you know, on a Wednesday night. This is so good, guys. Please, if you try one, please try this one. Oh, that's good. Yes. All right, guys, don't forget, I'm here every Wednesday. Come back and join me. Uh, I'd love to see any of the dishes that you cook from Make It Wednesday. Also, if you have any requests, please do let me know in the comments. I'm here, I'm reading them all. So direct them at me, come at me in the comments with your, with your suggestions. All right guys, time to go because I am going to eat this whole plate up. Mm. So good. Hey guys, I'm releasing new recipes and videos every week. So if you want to know when something new and delicious is out, why not hit the subscribe button and the little bell and that way you'll get notified every time. Thanks guys, see you.